Hey everybody, it's Kneecap here, and welcome to This Week in WoW for the week of October 17th. As always, we will get started with the Mythic Plus affixes. Myth Mythic Plus affixes this week are Fortified, Afflicted, and Raging. Again, that's Fortified, Afflicted, and Raging. Uh, kind of more of a medium week this week. Still not great. Nobody really likes Afflicted or Incorporal. We've gone over that multiple times on the channel of why that is the case. And uh, so we have Fortified, Afflicted, Raging. Kind of just a medium week. Not, not the worst week in the world, uh, but certainly not the best week either. Um, not too much to write home about in, in terms of this, especially because of the next news. I guess it is worth mentioning. You have, you know, a little bit less than a month to do any kind of Mythic Plus shenanigans you want to do officially. Because we have the, as we'll get started talking about what's going on in the game, we have the actual patch date for uh, patch 10.2. It is the earlier date. Um that I said could be the case, uh, 7th or 14th. I was starting to lean towards 7th, though, uh, as we got closer and closer, although my official guess was the 14th, I believe. So I was one week off. But uh, Guardians of Dream arrives November 7th, new Zone Emerald Dream, new Raid Amidra Cell, new Mythic Plus Dungeon Rotation, new PvP Season, and more. Some of the stuff here, Legendary Axe, Moonkin custom uh, Boomkin Customizations, um, Blood Elf Customizations, I think, Mounts, Class Sets, all the normal stuff. Fairly standard patch overall, of course. And, of course, this will be after BlizzCon, so we will have a lot of other news <laughs> coming along right alongside with this patch. So that'll be a busy time there early in November. Uh, I'm quite sure on that. So November 7th is the patch date. I expect this patch to be very heavily played, assume, assuming that the BlizzCon hype is real. I do know what I can say. Uh, is I don't have any inside information. I don't know anybody at Blizzard. I don't know anybody who works on World of Warcraft. But the devs that are that post on Twitter, especially longtime devs and and some new newer newer devs as well, um, are extremely excited for BlizzCon. Extremely excited for World of Warcraft. So I'm guessing that it's going to be pretty um, something substantial is going to be announced about World of Warcraft. We'll see if it's good or bad. Uh, but I am pretty excited to see, <laughs> uh, what that is. Uh, I, you know, for me, I'm, as I'm a little bit biased towards World of Warcraft because I enjoy playing it still. Um, you know, like I, I tend to think it's probably going to be good, but we'll see when it comes. And I am very, very excited to see what it brings. Also, uh, this week, we do have the Eastern Kingdoms Cup ending. So if you didn't get a chance to do that, that's not great. But they did extend the Calmador Cup by a week uh, when the Calmador Cup was active. So we'll see if they do that for the Eastern Kingdoms Cup. Uh, I guess I, I guess I wouldn't count on it, but it's possible. Uh, but yeah, it. Uh, no one's like complaining about it this time. People were really complaining about the Calmador Cup. I think because it came out when... It must have been when another game launched or something like that. And people were like, what the heck? I can't, I don't have time to get on World of Warcraft and do my Calmador Cup. It was something along those lines. And they extended it by a week. Uh, I don't, I wouldn't count on it, but it's possible. And then the biggest news for this week, uh, well, let's, let's do the biggest news last. Um, we have the uh, time walking going on still, the turbulent time ways. So you do your time walking, and this is Mr. Pandaria time walking for this week. Great for alts. You can do your, uh, you know, Five quests to get a piece of heroic raid loot. Great for new characters, new 70s, whatever. And then we also, the bigger thing, the biggest thing, the most thing I'm excited about for this particular week is Hollow's End is going to be starting up on Wednesday. So Hollow's End got a little bit of a refresh, a little bit of a remake, similar to Brewfest. Although from the little that I had seen on uh, from the PTR about it, I think it's a little bit more than Brewfest uh, got. So I am interested to see that. Expect to see a video of what's new in Hollow's End. Uh, again, it's going to be from an Alliance perspective, just like Brewfest was. Uh, what's new for Hollow's End? I know I have a six-year-old son. He's very, very excited <laughs> um, for it. He likes to go to the inns and do the trick-or-treating, get the wands and stuff like that. Obviously, you can enjoy it if you're an adult, too. I certainly want, when I'm playing with him in particular, as it becomes fun for me again, just like it was uh, when I was younger. Uh, so that's a, a really cool event, really cool thing to do. I personally actually like going and just getting the little bit of experience <laughs> on alt characters that you get for free. Of course, leveling now is so easy, but back in the day, it was like free experience to go and <laughs> just click on the pumpkin and get the experience. I really, really enjoyed that back in the day. Um, and I don't know if it's on actual classic or not. Uh, 
if that particular feature was on classic i can't remember uh but i'm sure it's on like classic wrath or whatever uh so yeah that's pretty cool and yeah other than that there's not a ton going on for this particular week again we are closing in on blizzcon we are now what one two two and a half weeks from blizzcon where we're going to expect to get an expansion reveal maybe a, whether there is a 10.3 reveal which is a big question in the community right now is there even going to be a 10.3 i did a video on that um so it, we could get a reveal of 10.3 we're, we're most likely going to get the expansion reveal we could even get a tentative expansion uh date especially if there isn't a 10.3 if there's no 10.3 i would expect to get the expansion um if not a particular date at least quarter <laughs> that they're going to release it in like meaning um uh, for quarter meaning for them for the books but for us meaning you know winter spring uh summer fall kind of thing uh and of course that's going to be based on america <laughs> for the uh for the season there or the northern hemisphere whatever and so uh yeah so we're super excited about that and then of course the patch coming november 7th right after that the season itself is going to start on november 14th that's another reason why and that's going to coincide with the wilds anniversary event as well so we're gonna have like a week to prep and then a week uh of, to start the raid and then the wilds anniversary is going to be going on it should be pretty exciting I, I, it should be a lot of stuff coming out around then um yeah i know i'm super excited about it for sure um yeah as far as uh, this goes, I've been trying to very tentatively gear some other characters. I haven't been playing it still. I, I kind of mentioned before, I haven't been playing a ton. I've been waiting, just waiting patiently, I guess, for any kind of Retribution Paladin news to come out. Tuning, hopefully, it was, you know, buffing, hopefully, is what I was hoping for. Um, and I've kind of like, that kind of knowing that we haven't got any buff to Rep Paladin has kind of made me not eager to play my rep paladin for whatever reason so when i have been playing i've been playing like on my augie voker and actually balanced druid uh a little bit more recently so unfortunately that that is the case I, i've been wanting to kind of play my paladin then i get on i'm like oh i'm still i'm still gonna be weak next patch <laughs> i really hope we get some buffs um and so that i feel bad or whatever but yeah um other than that been playing some classic hardcore and stuff like that and just really looking forward to you know, in a few weeks to the, to the next patch. So the next patch and BlizzCon too. Uh, I expect to, uh, like I said, expect a Hollow's End video for sure. Maybe some other videos as well, but definitely a Hollow's End video this week. And then um, when BlizzCon comes out, I'll either, if I'm able to, I don't know if I'll be able to or not. If I'm able to, I'll stream like my reactions to it here on YouTube. Um, and then there'll, there'll be a divide of that, of course. Uh, if I'm not able to, I'll just do a reaction video afterwards if i'm uh you know not able to get to the computer or whatever at that time i'll do like a reaction video about everything that came out during blizzcon but i'm definitely super excited for all of it um i'm re remarkably looking forward to it to be completely honest so yeah um that's it for this week uh next week's going to be even a little bit more light but then the next week after that we have blizzcon so it's okay um i'm all fine there so as always we ask you to please subscribe to the channel it helps me out a lot other than that, everybody, have a good one.